They really do stay very well no matter how you style them. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I am so pumped about this. This is definitely not something that's like, life hack, you need to know this. This is for sure something that's just more fun. So the tinsel and like flower and the hair fad and everything definitely was a super hype in like, I would say 2011 to 2013. Maybe 2012 is when it started, something like that, maybe a little bit earlier, but I learned how to do this on my own. I could not afford to go and put that stuff in my hair. So I went to Joanne Fabrics, I looked on Amazon, I saved up my money, I was in high school at the time. I put together this entire kit and I've had this, how many years? It's 2020, you guys. I've had this for at least eight years at least, but it was so much fun knowing how to do this. I love having tinsel in my hair. I definitely go back and forth. Like sometimes be like, no, am I too adult for that? I better not. And then I'm like, let's do tinsel again. Someday my future kids will probably be embarrassed because I will have tinsel in my hair and they'll be like, mom, you're too old for that. And I'll be like, never. <laughs> so I wanna show you guys how to do this effect. We're gonna do it together. I didn't style my hair, it is just pulled back, so I have my wand handy as well because I wanna show you guys how you can style the tinsel in your hair and how it curls or straightens with your hair. First, I'm gonna explain like all the tools and such that you need. I will list everything down below. Keep in mind, I did purchase a lot of these years ago, so this is probably not gonna be the exact things, but it's going to be ones that are very similar and probably ones that aren't broken because some of my things are definitely broken. First things first, I did get this little box actually at Joanne Fabrics. They have deals all of the time. I don't know if you can still get this probably, and I think you can probably find one on Amazon too. So I'll link this on Amazon. It has three different compartments. So in this one, I actually do have a feather in here, you guys. I have a lot of tinsel in here. There's some extra beads in here. There's tinsel in this middle one, and then up at the top, there's some tools. So let's just do the bottom one first. I'm just gonna unsnap it. Too funny, so I do actually have some feathers in here. We're not gonna be using those. And then I got some like strands of tinsel. I don't think we'll use these. This was one of the first ones that I got. It came with like a little clip, so you're meant to like just clip this entire thing in your hair, but I don't wanna do that. That was a little bit too dramatic, so I would just use like individual tinsels. We're not gonna use this though, because I did find a better technique later on. And then I have some beads. These ones are dark brown. I think honestly, this is the ones that we'll probably have to use. I'll see if I have any other light browns, but I purchased a kit of these like smushable plastic beads. That's the best way I can describe it. It was years ago that I purchased these, you guys. But I will find better links for you, I promise. So there was dark brown, light brown, and blonde that you could purchase. These you definitely need, this is like key. And compartment number two. Ooh, so here is all of my tinsels, and then I have some extra beads. It does look like I only have dark brown. Oh, there's some black ones too, so you also can get black. That's really nice. This is a brand new package of that one I was showing you. See, it has like the clip. We're not using that today, although these are really good quality tinsel. <laughs> I never thought I would say that. Like, this is good quality tinsel, <laughs> but these ones do actually hold up against the heat very well. And then these are actually the ones that you can find at Joanne Fabrics for super, super inexpensive. They have coupons. Go pick out colors that you really love. And that's these ones. They're the Sulky Hollow Shimmer little rolls of tinsel. They're so like <laughs> So much tinsel in here, you guys. Seriously, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have these for the rest of my life, probably. The one I use the most often is like the Rainbow Unicorn Shimmer. This is like a white silver and it glistens all sorts of rainbow colors. This holds up the best against the heat. The one that does not hold up, which I was so disappointed about, is this one. This is more of like a translucent rainbow. This one is horrible. I never use this one. It shrivels up in the heat. So I do not recommend you get this one. My high school colors were black and orange, so I got this orange one. Um, I don't know why I got duck colors, because I went to Oregon State, but I think I got this one because some of my friends were duck fans, and I would put this in my friend's hair too. Red and green, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of really, really pretty ones. This lavender purple especially is like so gorgeous. There was tons of colors, like tons of colors. I had to run to the store with my husband really quick, but I'm back, so we're going to continue. So the next thing we need, which is in just like this top 
little drawer here is scissors because you need to be able to cut the tinsel to the length that you need. You also need some pliers. I have this one that has like a little bit of texture. So when you squeeze the bead, like clamp it into your hair basically, the little ridges in the pliers kind of squeeze onto the bead and just give a better grip. So I recommend one that has like the ridges. I also use like a little clip so I can clip my hair back to make it easier so I can see like the direct like part just helps so there's not more like flyaways in the way. And then this next tool is the one that's like broken. I originally purchased like this little handle that had this wire connected to it. And I tried gluing it back in, I think at one point, but it just came out. Honestly, I think you could use like a paper clip paper clip or if you have like a little wire you could just make it just twist it at the bottom like I did so you have like this little this little loop because you need this to be able to pull your hair through the bead. I also have some bobby pins in here just in case you need to secure your hair down even more. So those are all of the tools. Again, I'll have those listed down below so you can easily know exactly what to get. Everything that I can find anyways. Otherwise, a lot of this you can find at Joanne Fabrics or maybe Michael's. I'm not sure. Um, color. What color should we do? Gold would be so pretty. But at the same time, I really love the silver. This is the one that gets noticed the most. Let's just do gold. I love, love, love the silver, but that's the one that I always usually do. So yeah, let's just do the gold one today. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my hair down. Let's just do one right here, really close to the part. So what I wanna do is just make a part. You don't wanna put it directly on the hairline because you want the bead to be able to be Hidden. Let's leave a little bit of hair out, just like right here. And then I'm gonna pull it back in a tight little ponytail, just to kind of get it out of the way. So what I wanna do first is get like five to six strands of this. And I know it's curly right now, but again, like you can straighten it and curl it and everything, so you should be fine. I like to overestimate the length, so this is definitely gonna be plenty long, like it, it's longer than my hair is. We're gonna just clip that right there, and then we're gonna make six to eight of those. They don't actually all have to be the same length, just like similar. How many is that? One, two, three, four. I think I wanna do like seven. You wanna do a lot of layers because if you only do like a couple strands, it's really not gonna be very noticeable and it's not gonna stick in the bead very well either. So you wanna just do enough to where you're actually gonna be able to see it. Okay, so once you have all of your strands, like yeah, that's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be so pretty. I'm so excited about this. You wanna do just a little knot. So I usually have like two fingers. I'll slip this around two fingers. So then we're just going to slip it through from the back to the front and create a knot. Pull that tight, so then we have this. Next step, this is where the clip, little clip guy comes in handy. You can use whatever size. I like that this one is small. So I take the clip and I slip this right through. So then the knot is right on the clip. Then we simply just clip that right above where you want it to go. So we're gonna put it here, but I'm gonna clip it right up here. So I lay my hair flat and clip that. Okay, so now we've got this right here in the hair. So that's when you wanna take your little loop tool. I'm gonna to slip the bead right through the little loop, all the way down to the bottom. You really want this to be tied nice and tight at the bottom and like zigzag it so the bead doesn't just fall through the other end. Now I'm gonna open this up so you have a little round little loop going on. So then I usually just like lie this in between my fingers. I'll grab the tinsel, separate it from the hairs. And then I'm gonna take, Try to. I try to get about the same amount, but ideally <laughs> what I think is like six to eight hairs is probably like 10 to 20, There's so many hairs. So I grab a small amount, if you guys can see this amount right here. And with this, just on my two fingers, I spread them open, slip my fingers through the hair and I kind of grab onto the hair, can let go with this hand. And then I grab this here with the other hand and I pull this through. I take my other hand and I grab onto the bead. We're gonna pull that up and all the way down to the root. 
You want it, you don't want it to get too loose, so I'm gonna actually just pull the hair flat to make sure that the bead is as close to the root as possible. So I'm kind of pushing it close to the root here, and we're gonna go in and you grab the bead. And squeeze, okay? And then squeeze the other side. Really make sure that it's nice and tight. All right, it is locked in right here. So now it's connected to the hair. You are basically good to go, except we still have it hooked onto the clip right here. So let's just go ahead and undo the clip. Now you wanna be careful not to cut your hair at this next step. That's why it's good to use little scissors, not big scissors. So we need to cut away this tinsel. I usually do end up cutting a few hairs on accident, but oh well. Close my scissors almost all the way go in there and just snip that away. It's in the hair. <laughs> you can see that it is too long. It's going way past my hair. So what I want to do is actually trim it now. So I'm just going to take the scissors. So I'm going to clip one here. I like to clip some just a little bit shorter. I think that should be perfect. Oh, I think there's one that's still maybe a little too long. This one looks just be a little bit too long, so we're gonna clip that too. You do get tinsel like everywhere, you guys. I think this one looks great. So we can just go ahead and undo our hair. Now when we go back to our normal part, you have like this pretty little hidden tinsel. When you curl it especially, it looks so, so pretty. The silver stands out, I think, the most, but you see the little tinsel in here. Oh. I did cut some of my hair on accident. I just think it's so fun when it like glistens in the sun especially and it's just like a noticeable sparkle. I just love it. I usually like to place them like maybe right here or like up a little higher right here. Generally around my face or I'll do one like back here because you can still kind of see that area. I'm gonna go ahead and do a bunch more and then we'll touch base at the end. I'll show you how to curl it. I'll show you where I put them so you can see what they're gonna look like. Okay, so we're all done. So we have the original one that is right here. You guys can see that glistening. I put one back here. You can kind of feel the beads. You can kind of feel where it's at. I put one right up at the top up here. And then there's one right here. And then I also put one down below. I got a bobby pin in my hair. I felt something funny. Yeah. Okay. So then there's some sparkling there. So I'm going to curl my hair, show you guys how they curl. They also do straighten, which is so surprising to me because it seems like they would just fry, right? It seems like they would just like shrivel up, which one of them did the one I was telling you guys about that, like white translucent one, that one does shrivel up, but these ones just somehow just don't. They curl super well. You can wash them. These stay in your hair for weeks. So let's curl these bad boys and then we'll see the final results. These curls are my favorite like tighter ringlet Taylor Swift curls. This is the one that I did a five day curls tutorial on. I'm just going to show you one right now so you can see how this like twirls with the curl. Just going to curl it like normal. Like I'm not really doing anything different. Just doing a regular, regular curl. <laughs> And there you have it. So you can see this up close. It's just twirled within the curl. It keeps its shape super, super good. You can even see it just like right here inside of the curl. It is just the most fun thing. Okay, I'm gonna flash to my hair curled right now. We're done. <laughs> Curls are all completed so you can see the tinsel, especially in this one. I love this one because it's just like front and center, but there is, oh, this one as well and then we have a couple over here i think there's one like right in the front oh yeah this one right here you can kind of see them glistening against the light they are so pretty such a fun little thing that usually comes up in conversation it's like oh do you have tinsel in your hair i just like i said i seriously just love that i think that is just so fun so yeah this is the look in the curls they really do stay very well no matter how you style them they're just so much fun <laughs> they're just 
so much fun. I hope you get a chance to go out and try this, do some fun colors, whatever your heart desires. You'll probably be seeing me like 20 years from now still using this tinsel and still teaching people how to put this in their hair. It's so simple, so inexpensive, and this stuff lasts like forever once you purchase it. So super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seriously, I hope you get to go out and try this out. <laughs> if you do, let me know how it goes. Message me on Instagram. I love to see how creative you guys get. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean the world to me. I hope to see you back again very soon. I will be back here Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Bye, guys. Mwah.